This is Audacity. You may have a slightly different version, but they all work essentially the same way. You have a record button, a stop, a play button, and a pause button. We're going to use the record button to record ourselves. Clicking on the record button immediately begins recording. The microphone on your headphone set is attached to the cord. You can see I've got a recording here. I'm going to stop. I'm going to play on the record button immediately begins recording and it's recorded me on your headphone I'm going to stop again and then uh, I've got this recording here I could highlight certain parts and delete them there are all sorts of things that we're going to be able to do with this uh, I'm going to just go through the actual task at the moment of how you're going to make your podcast what's involved in that I don't want this recording anymore so I'm going to click on this little X here and delete the whole recording so let's begin again uh, I'm going to click record Little Chimp is Brave Story by Jenny Gillies Read by Anthony Hill Mother Chimp went up the big tree Up, up, up went Mother Chimp Little Chimp ran to the tree And Little Chimp went down, down, down the tree The End I've made my recording and now I'm going to stop and you see I've actually got something here that I didn't want we'll play it I've made my recording and now I'm going to stop and I'm going to delete that part that I've highlighted I'm just going to press the delete key and I've got rid of that so here is my recording now the first thing I really need to do is to save this I might want to do some other things but I want to make sure it's going to be saved in the correct place so of course we're going to um, go and click save project and this is saved as a .aup file so that we can keep editing it when we've finished with it we're going to export it as an mp3 file the moment we're going to save it as a project that's fine but we must put it somewhere we can find it make a name for it and I'm going to call this little chimp and I'm going to go save now this will save a whole variety of little files uh, and they can only be used by Audacity but we're going to export it and get an mp3 in the end so once that's been saved I'm now ready to do my next part I will go back and listen to the whole thing that would be one thing that I could do if I'm happy with it if I want to delete some things then I can do that as well let's have a look at this piece here so I've highlighted it I'm going to go play the end do I want the end? Yep, that sounds okay. Uh, there's a bit of a gap in here. That's taking too long. I might delete that and get rid of that piece as well. And I've just deleted too much, so I'm just going to go to Edit and Undo. There we go. That's looking better. So that was Edit and Undo Delete if I make a mistake or Control Z. I've got a scroll bar here to move back to the very beginning so I'm going to go right back to the beginning and again I'm I could use this to take me back I'm going to play Little Chimp is Brave story by Jenny Gillies yeah I'm happy with what I've got there now if you do have to make edits or you do want to re-record that's fine you can remove the whole thing or you can record a new piece now what I want to do is to add in some sound effects to this I'm going to double click on sounds and I want an animal and in here I've got lots of different animals At the moment we want oh here's a chimp sound so I could import that using the control here but it's just as easy to drag it across and let go now nothing seems to have happened until I uh, click off here and it says do I want to make a copy before editing that's safer uh, yes we'll do that okay now it's given me a file here let's listen to it and it's the sound of a chimp I want to move that to somewhere it's a little bit more appropriate to move something this I bar that I've got is no good I've got to take this control here this time shift tool so I'm going to click on the time shift tool and now I can grab this and I can move it around in the track now a good place for this would be just after the title Let's come hey. back here. Story by Jenny Gillies. Read by Anthony Hill. Actually, that would be the best place right in about there. So we're going to move it across. Okay. Now, if you find that you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can adjust the size of how much you can see by using this 
plus and minus here. And that can be quite helpful. So we can move this one backwards and forwards. Let's listen again, see where it is. Hill. Mother chimp went up. Well, actually, there were two chimp sounds there. Maybe I'll get the other chimp sound as well. So I'm going to take this other one, I'm going to drag it over here, and let go. And remember, it kind of disappears behind my box here. So I've just got to get rid of that. And click here, and there it's brought in my next one. And I can move that one along, and we'll have it beside the other one. Let's listen. Read by Anthony Hill. Mother chimp went up the big tree. Okay, so we've got two sound effects in there, which is quite nice. Um, we could put them in different places. We only want to use sound effects if they're appropriate. We've got to be careful about them. And those two sound effects were actually quite loud as well, so we can adjust the volume. I might make them a little bit quieter here. Now, there's one more sound effect that I think would be quite good to use, and that's here in ambient, and that's a jungle sound. We've got a jungle sound. So let's grab the jungle sound. I'm going to bring it over here. Let go. Click. OK. And here is my jungle sound. Let's listen to that. We'll go back to the beginning. Little Chimp is Brave. Story by Jenny Gillies. Read by Anthony Hill. Now, that sound of the jungle is quite good, but it really doesn't need to start till we get to the beginning of the story, and that would probably be good right there. Now, it's quite short, so what's going to happen is it's going to finish... Little chimp ran to the tree. I can go up the big tree too. So, it's become uh, very quiet all of a sudden, and I'd really like to have this sound a little bit more. So, what I'd like to be able to do... I'm going to click on this... I'm going to select it. I want to copy it and add it in later on. So I can come up to Edit and Copy, the Control C, and then I'm going to click at the end, and of course I'm going to go Edit and Paste. So I've pasted it in. I click at the end, and I could also use the Control V command. Click at the end, Control V, at the end, Control V. Oh, I got a bit of a gap there. That wasn't so good, so I need to move that so it touches. Just get it to line up. And we'll come across. And that's got me to almost the end of the story. So there are two things, though, that I want to do. Let's listen to this. Mother chimp went up the big tree. It comes in a bit abruptly. So I'm going to take my little eye bar, my selection tool, and just at the beginning here, I want that to fade in. So that's going to be an effect. I click on Effect, and I come down to Fade In. Okay, And you see it's changed it to a little triangle there. And I'm going to do the same thing at the end here. I'd like it to fade out. So I'm going to highlight that piece. I'm going to come to Effect, and I want it to fade out. That looks much better. So let's listen to that. Tree. The, end. Okay, the only problem, though, if you hear, is that um, I am brave, and Little Chimp went down, down, down the tree. The end. It's really a bit loud as well, this whole track. So we're going to make that much, much quieter. In the same way that if we put music on a track, we would really want to think about making that much quieter. Up, up, up went Mother Chimp. Little Chimp ran to the tree. I can go up the big tree too. He said, up, 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 went. Still perhaps a little bit loud. Uh, we don't want to have sound effects over up, the top, went little so chimp. it's hard for us to hear Look what we're me, saying. Look at me, said Little Chimp. I am up in the big tree. Mother Chimp went down the tree. <laughs> okay, now actually my recording has clipped the top and the bottom off a little bit because I'm trying to record uh, this as a video as well as recording it into Audacity. The sound quality is not great. What I need to do is I want to zoom back out just a little bit. Oh, that's a bit too much. Um, but I want to be able to see all of my recording if I can. Move that across. That's looking like it's just about fitting in there quite nicely. The last thing we need to do is to produce this as a file. Update, just my, save my project, and the other option that we have is export, which might be just off your screen, but the word here I'm looking for is 
export. So I'm going to export my file and it's already chosen MP3 here. If it hasn't chosen MP3 you'll need to go and select MP3 as the output type. It's already thinking I want to save it in the same place as my project, which is correct, and it's already got a file name of Little Chimp, and all of that's fine. And so I'm now going to click on Save. And it will now offer me a chance to put in some extra information. I don't really want any extra information. Uh, if I was going to be adding uh, music, I could be putting some information about the artist or the copyright information that I need. We're only using non-copyright music, of course. Um, but I'm just going to click OK and it's going to mix all these tracks down for me. I click OK and it will go away and do it. Now this can take a few seconds uh, to a couple of minutes depending on the length of your recording. When it is finished mixing down it may open it for you automatically so that it will play and open it up Little and is brave. there it is, it's playing Story for by me. Jenny Gillies. Read by Anthony Hill. And that's it.